So now I've got this piece um, that seems to be about pattern and shape and color areas. Uh, and I want to kind of maybe add some smaller elements. I'm thinking line, but um, you know, I tried adding these kind of linear shapes here and they looked a little contrived, so I, I um, wiped them off with, with a little alcohol and I kind of like the texture that I got there, which maybe you can see here. So, getting out line making tools, I've got a pencil, I have a pit pen, I've got this graphite. Hey, I don't know. Comes for a kind of tone on tone look. This is, uh, these are Neocolor 2. Uh, from Caran Dash, they're the watercolor crayons. Wow, that's a pretty much exact match in color. This one. Nice thing about these is if you don't like the mark, you can just wipe it off with a paper towel. subtle, the green on the green anyways, the turquoisey green. And I'm just smearing this crayon to make it a little more, uh, a little more solid line. And then where these come over that edge and I don't want them to, I'm just taking a razor blade and just scraping it back just to that edge. Make a really precise, deliberate line here. I'm just going to try something. <clears throat> this is rubbing alcohol, which uh, softens dry acrylic paint. Quite sure what's under here, but I'm gonna try to get some line. So now I've made this line down here to kind of continue with this shape, and this thing is no longer making sense, so I'm just gonna. small brush for this job, but I'm just going to cover that over to see what, see what else I might want to do here. So now I'm going to let that dry, add another coat, and then see what I've got and decide if I really want to put something else in this space. For this one, I've got these sort of blocks of color. Uh, some of them are over the kind of scribbling I did with, um, with dripping uh, latex paint. Um, so I've obscured some of that underneath and added a few things. And this one I think also, I want some pattern, but I'm thinking maybe adding a little bit of this small pattern first and then going from there.
So this one, another one of this series, I guess, in process. I don't know what to do. Uh, but here, I've got my brush with orange. I had an idea that maybe it just it could use another element up here. Maybe two. So I'm, I'm putting this down as kind of a first first draft. Uh, I'm not trying to finish them yet. I'm really just trying to see what I can do that changes it up, makes it more interesting. And I've just been dying to do some black stripes, so I'm just going to. And if they don't work out, I'll deal with it. First I'll just put them down where I want them and then I'll go over them. So in going over them, here's where I get to really make the minute decisions. I definitely want them to come past the edge of this off-white shape. Do I want them really hard edge? I don't know. I can sort of enhance the raggedness of that edge. I guess the point is I'm going kind of gradually and really looking at every step of the way to see how it's evolving and then making these little minute decisions as I go. Now I'm sort of toying with the idea of uh, bringing these kind of blue ovals over the black. 